Morning. I am demanding that General Motors apologize to the American people for its decision in 2005 to destroy the EV1 electric vehicle. The EV1 electric vehicle is an economically efficient alternative any is an economically efficient alternative fuel automobile. Before any financial bailout is considered or granted to General Motors. They must agree to put in production the EV1 electric car. It is an outrage that General Motors is looking for the government to solve its financial emergencies. In 1999, General Motors had the solution to solve its own financial woes. They had, if they had mass produced the EV1 electric car. For an example, in 1999, the stock of General Motors was $78, uh, $87 per share. And then the drop, when, when they destroyed the EV1 vehicle, it dropped to $33, $34 per share. With gasoline prices rising to $5 per gallon, General Motors would have struggled to produce enough electric cars to meet the increasing consumer demand for this type of vehicle. Every family would have given their right arm to have the electric car in their garage. They would have saved hundreds of dollars per month that they are not spending at the gas pump. Instead, General Motors backed themselves against the wall by destroying a well-conceived idea of the electric car that would have been the solution to their financial goals. The President of the United States and the Congress should not, under any circumstances, acquiesce to the request or demands of General Motors or any other auto manufacturing company until they agree to mass produce the EV1 vehicle or the electric car. The EV1 vehicle will help relieve our dependence on foreign oil and reduce harmful emissions in our atmosphere, which contributes to the global warming crisis. General Motors must not get a free ride so that it can continue on their destructive path. Rescuing General Motors is only a quick fix without the production of the EV1 vehicle. The American people are demanding that a cure to our the emissions, the pollution that the fossil fuel engine is emitting into our atmosphere and the EV1 vehicle can solve that problem for us. They don't want to give any more money to the manufacturing, auto manufacturing companies until they agree to build these electric automobiles. The 
show a little example here. The EV1 tragedy. And the American people are saying, shame, shame, shame on General Motors. This vehicle right here is what the EV1 looked like. It's lying in one of our museums today. And so is the one over here in the red. But look behind below. Here's the graveyard where they recall all of the EV1 and they destroyed them. As I said, a well-conceived idea that would have solved our energy problem. I'm tell you what, it's a crime that General Motors to have done that. And the people, as I said, are demanding that before a bailout is given to General Motors any consideration for bailout, they must agree to put this EV1 vehicle back into production. The picture is worth a thousand words and they speak for themselves. Doug? Chuck? Thank you, Senator Holt. Uh, we hold it. We really appreciate the support of everybody. This, no, no car company, no business can long survive if it arrests its own customers and refuses to sell product. That's what happened here. Uh, where two would-be electric car drivers were arrested and instead of selling the cars to willing buyers for cash, General Motors destroyed them. That was, uh, that was a crime that GM committed against itself, but as Mr. Holden stated, there was a greater crime. The crime of destroying an idea, destroying our future, destroying the car that America needs, the choice that we have to have to drive without oil. The car existed, the car still exists, we drove here in those cars. The cars can be produced. Anybody who says they can't be produced should take a ride in one of our cars. They're still around. And General Motors should be required, before any bailout occurs, as Mr. Olin stated, should be required to re recreate and resell, sell for cash money, electric cars on the open market. Yesterday, we were at Tesla Motors, where they delivered two Tesla Motors, to one to Chris Payne, one to Linda Nichols. The cars exist. But I'll tell you the truth, the Tesla isn't as exciting as the EV1 because there were so many EV1s and they were available to everybody at a, at a reasonable price. They should be made available again, as Mr. Holden stated. Thank you. Get your name, sir. Doug Cortoff. Spell it. K-O-R-T-H-U-F. Also an EV1 driver, as Mr. Chris Reeves. Have the, we'd like to have Mr. Chris Reeves make some statements, too. I don't really have anything.